Congratulations, Dr. Hardy. Well deserved. As you know, in 1982, you saved my wife's life when you discovered that she had Addison's disease. And uh, you have been a marvelous guy in all aspects of life. Welcome to the Las Vegas Heels, third annual Inspired Excellence in Healthcare Awards. Congratulations, Dr. Barron. It is just such a pleasure to come here and celebrate this very special evening. Hi, Dad. I just wanted to say congratulations. We're all so proud of you and we love you so much. Congratulations, honey. I'm so proud of you. You and I are running the Cleveland Clinic Lou Rubo Center for Brain Health. We work together. We do research together, we live together, we have fun together, we enjoy working here, we enjoy the city of Las Vegas. Congratulations, sweetheart. Congratulations, Dad. So proud of you and all the recognition you're getting for all the hard work and research you do. I'm so happy to celebrate this evening with you tonight. Love you. Congratulations, honey. You did it. And they said it could be done. Congratulations. I love you so much. You're well deserving of this and you know it. and my compass manager, Wendy, by the service center, uh, has been job for being here. And also Loretta Moses, who's in the back, uh, he's the executive director of the Clark County Medical Society, with which I've been involved with the last several years. And uh, hopefully more good things to come in the next several years. It's, it's really nice that Las Vegas Heels is putting this on and recognizing that there are um, really great accomplishments and positions here in Las Vegas and that uh, you don't have to go to the airport to get your medical care. We're creating memories tonight. We just think about the fact that our patients that we work with every day can create those memories. And those are the memories that we want to have as our lives mature and we look back on our own biographies. So I just thank you for all the support that Las Vegas has offered for our work to try to make sure that we develop drugs that allow our patients to keep memory alive. Thank you. Take me away from here. Take me where I thank you for this organization and thank you for being you. And I guess uh, you could say the same thing I do. You love work. I remember my father turned to me uh, when he stopped at a stop sign on the way back from the YMCA. Uh, stopping was unusual for him. <laughs> and he turned to me and he said, Joe, I love work. And I was 14 years old at the time, and I looked at him, and you know what I said? You're right, I didn't say anything. <laughs> I was 14. So now as my kids say, I'm my own grandpa. Thank you very much. You guys are the, the, really the, the heroes. Um, so I, I thank them for, you know, supporting me uh, in this. And, you know, someone made that joke about yeah, let's, uh, you know, if you want to get good health care in, uh, in southern Nevada, you need to go to McCarrick Airport. Well, you, if you do, you better hope that one of my colleagues is on that airplane. So, going to take off. so again, I, I really uh, appreciate this. Thank you.
the administrators, people like Leonard, who I've just had this amazing relationship with, and Carla, who allow me to do this work. And then when I have personal issues, like I have a beautiful boy who has what I call the polio of our generation autism, where do I take him? To our own hospitals to be treated. And he was in Spring Mountain, which thank God Carla has available for us. It's just a wonderful environment, and thank all of you for letting me be part of today in his memory. It's just really great to be here, thank you. say you, you should be, uh, uh, you, could, you could be making more money or you should not be working that hard. And I say, yeah, but I enjoy both. And at CCCN, uh, we have the opportunity to do both cutting edge research and also truly helping people from all around the world. So I, could have, I couldn't be happier, as they say. So that's really all I have to say. It's an honor to be part of the Nevada community. Um, I literally could look a lot of other joints, but I love this joint. And uh, <laughs> Vegas is Vegas. Take me away from here. I'd just like to thank everybody that was on the dinner committee tonight. They did a fabulous job. Uh, you know, I, it's a lot of people that went into this and a lot of people that made this a true success for the six honorees. And, uh, you know, this event improves, improves each and every year. Um, you know, this is our third annual. Uh, look forward to the next. But the six honorees tonight were world-class uh, surgeons, doctors, and across the board, uh, just great physicians here in Las Vegas. Very thankful to have them. But this event goes to a lot of the people that put their uh, blood, sweat, and tears into making this a success, and I can't thank them enough for it. I'm Jennifer Mahar, The Venture, and we're here at the Mandarin Oriental for the third annual Inspired Excellence Award in Healthcare. We have hundreds of attendees, and we're excited to be honoring all of our doctors that have done an amazing job here in the Valley and serving our community. Thank you, everyone, for coming, and see you next year. Hi, I'm Doug Geinzer, CEO of Las Vegas Hills. We're here at the Mandarin Oriental in Las Vegas, Nevada, and we just concluded our third annual Inspired Excellence in Healthcare Awards. Each year, we honor six of our top physicians in the area for everything that they've done for Las Vegas and inspiring us all to be better in everything that we do in healthcare. We appreciate everybody being here tonight, and we look forward to seeing everybody next year at the fourth annual Inspired Excellence in Healthcare Awards. Thank you.